My name is Bolinle Bashoran. I am an independent social worker with over 20 years experience in industry and I run Be Still Project. I was a little bit lost. Um, having been in industry for so long, um, being independent for about six years and not really finding much success in independent work, well, not at least um, independent work in a way that I really um, believed in. Um, it kind of led me into other areas of work. So education uh, being one of them. And I really just wanted to reclaim my position within social work to really fully utilize all of my skill sets um, and my expertise. And I needed some guidance around how to do that in the most effective way. So strategic planning, um, being able to really understand who my target group is and how I can go about serving them um, in the best way and also generating an income, essentially. I learned a lot. Uh, I learned a lot about just how much I can do um, and how my skills and expertise is pretty much interwoven in everything that I'm currently doing. So it was really about being able to know how to best market that. And that's what the strategy meeting gave me clarity, knowing how to package, knowing how to compartmentalize, uh, knowing all of the various strands uh, that, that my my business can you know kind of go into also business psychology really when it comes to branding and marketing um, and how I present myself so that that was really really helpful and also pricing pricing is something that I've really struggled with when you are in an industry where you're constantly serving and giving and giving and giving sometimes you forget your own worth you forget your value you know you you may kind of still carry certain kind of distorted mindsets about wealth, about, you know, when you are serving others, is that something you actually even should be charging for? So, yeah, really finding the confidence in recognizing my own worth and my value and how to go about pricing that appropriately in order to generate an income as well as serve um, in an effective and impactful way. Just being able to marry those two things together um, was just, yeah, it was invaluable. So yeah, that, that, that was amazing. Excited, <laughs> I'm excited. I kind of felt like mind blown. I've got, I've got so much to do. I've got a lot to do, just fine tuning. And I think actually that, that was my biggest takeaway, the fine tuning element that actually the shell, everything is there, is just knowing exactly where to place, where to place it to fine tune um, and then let it rip. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, I'm looking forward to what I'm about to do um, and how people are going to benefit from that. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I would have still been stuck in a mindset about what an independent social worker is um, and how I'm able to utilize and brand my skills and my expertise, which essentially means that I'll still be chasing my tail um, or feeling like I'm stuck and I don't know, I'm, I'm not able to kind of think outside of the box, you know, um, social, social work, being a social worker, um, is not limited to a particular agency or organization. It's, I'm the social worker. It's about me. It's about what I bring to the table and my expression of social work. Um, so I think knowing that I, I am actually the brand, um, you know, that social work knowledge and expertise that I've accumulated over the best part of 20 years, as well as all the other knowledge and skill sets that I possess, it's 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 me 
it's me. And, you know, wherever I go, that goes with me. So, yeah, I think, um, yeah, just knowing that I can move around in different spaces um, in whatever way um, meets the need of my target group, that really is, you know, that's been the biggest shift in, in, in mindset. So, yeah, if I didn't have the meeting with, with Nicole, yeah, I, th I think I, I probably would have just abandoned social work. I probably would have and just really kind of focused on education alone, um, which would have been a real shame, a real shame, because I've put a lot of years, a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice, dedication, money and time into you know, developing my skills um, and my knowledge as a social worker. And that's something I don't want to let go of if I don't have to. So, yeah, thanks, Nicole. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, when you're, okay, so, like, I'm just going to bait myself up now. I can be very fixed in my thinking, in my approach, and I can be a bit of a know-it-all, right? So just being humble enough and open enough to know that actually there are others who are here to assist, and they've also gone through a lot to get to where they are in order to be able to provide the expertise that they do. And when you don't know, you know, what you're doing and you, you just kind of going round and round in circles. And there are people who are clearly there saying, listen, I know exactly what you need. Just, you know, come over here and I'll show you. Just, just do it. Like, just do it. What have you, <laughs> what have you got to lose? Well, other than, you know, yourself and a lot of money in a process, but, you know, take a risk, humble yourself. Um, you don't, you don't know it all. I certainly don't. Um, and it's been really refreshing actually to, feel safe enough to share my dreams and my vision with somebody um, who can say, you know what, what you're doing is amazing. You can do it. And this is how you need to go about, this is how you need to go about it in order for it to be the success that you've dreamt that it, it can be and will be. So yeah, that's, that's been a thumbs up, Nicole. <laughs>